What's up, everyone, and welcome to my Alienware X17 live unboxing. This is the i9-11980HK, 4K 120 hertz with RTX 3080, 150 watt to 165 watt. That means that we have essentially uh, the highest possible performance, at least in theory, uh, depending on how Alienware has actually configured this laptop to actually run. Now, uh, the goal for today, as you can see in the corner, actually over right here, uh, we're going to do an overview of the laptop, then we're going to compare this laptop versus others, then we're going to get to the unboxing, we're going to take the bottom off the laptop chassis, we're going to test the flex, the build quality of the machine, uh, test the keyboard, trackpad, evaluate the ports, uh, we're going to update some drivers, run TimeSpy, Cinemage R20, and lastly try to run Cyberpunk 2077. So we've got a uh, about a two hour stream here, I'm going to put timestamps. In the video description down below after the stream is done it might take a day or two for all of the uh video editing to happen and then all the timestamps will be accurate and all that but uh yeah i'm really excited about this laptop this is likely going to be my new personal laptop replacing my scar 15. at least if i really like it i, I think i will really like it but we will see so let's go ahead and Get this uh, unboxing started by doing a quick overview of the laptop first. Okay, so here you can see the Alienware X17 uh, link. This is this is linked in the video description down below, by the way. Um, so here is the different configurations you can get. There's actually five different base configurations, and you can configure them a little bit um, further. So the basic configuration comes with the i7 11. 800H. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this. It's a little easier to see. But the base configuration comes with the uh, just the 1100H RTX 3060 with 6 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM, and a 256 gig SSD. Now, this one will run you just a little over $2,000. So that's pretty expensive for an RTX 3060. You're definitely paying a lot of premium cost markup for the build quality and some of the extra features like Windows Hello and stuff like that. Uh, now, if you step up to this model, you can get an RTX 3070 for 2400 um, Bigger SSD size as well. You go to 3165 that's where you get the RTX 3080. 32 gigs of uh, RAM on that as well. And then you go to the highest end model. This is very similar to the one I ordered. Um, and I'll just show you the kind of basically the exact configuration that we're dealing with today. Um, so we've got the 4K 120 hertz display, 100% Adobe RGB, 500 nits brightness, RTX 3080, and then we've got 32 gigs of DDR4 XMP 3466 megahertz RAM. That should help in CPU bound games, I'm anticipating. Now, if there's any downside to this machine, it's definitely, I think, that we have NVIDIA Optimus here. We do not have Advanced Optimus, and as far as I know, we don't have a MUX switch. We're going to get into the Alienware Command Center and check that out. Um, but this is roughly what I got, except I have a two terabyte SSD. So if you were to configure this laptop pretty much exactly how I have it right now in here, it would cost about $38.50 approximately to get this exact model that I'm unboxing here today. Um, now, if you're interested in comparing, shopping around the Alienware X17, the, probably the biggest direct competitors would be the GE76. Uh, we've got the GE76, we've got the, hmm, I'm trying to think through the SCAR 17 would be another big competitor. Uh, it's going to be on the, a little bit cheaper side, but also, um, lower TDP side, though in theory you would think you'd be able to go similar levels of performance, just the lower TDP in certain games is definitely going to have less performance. We also have Ryzen CPU in this versus Intel 11th gen. Um, you know, so this is probably the biggest direct competitor right now to the to this one. We also have the Lenovo Legion 7, which is, uh, is configurable uh, to be pretty competitive with this one as well. Um, and it's probably one of the best direct competitors. Now, if you want to have links to any of these uh, laptops and do comparison shopping, I do have this gaming laptop comparison spreadsheet, which is linked in the video description down below if you want to check it out. Um, and some of these links do go to help support me as a creator, but absolutely no pressure to buy at any time from any of my links or anything like that. So let me go ahead and hop over to the live stream chat and see what's up. Okay, so 3.8 thousand, yeah, 3.8K. So this is a very expensive laptop. You're paying for a lot of premium features um, without a doubt. Like there's, just, there's a lot of premium price baked into the cost of this laptop. 
Um, and this is definitely not the laptop for everyone, but it'll still be really cool to check out. Um, this is definitely more for the people that have uh, extra money to spend on their machine and they don't mind putting out those extra dollars. Um, uh, what's up, everyone? I see everyone hopping into the stream, just saying hello. Uh, cool, cool, cool. What a beast. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. DJ Flippy. Good morning from India. Good morning. Uh, what's up, Scott? All right. Let's do this. Is there a mux? Not as far as I know. There's, there's no mux as far as I know, but Alienware has not been very explicitly clear on this. So, wow, this is a heavy, heavy box. Much heavier than I would expect for such a small little box. Okay, um, so we have this, which holds that box. Okay, here is the um, power box. So this looks like it's... Um, just like my old Alienware Area 51M power bricks. Yeah, and I can pretty much confirm that this is identical. 330 watt power supply. So this is a beast of a power supply, fairly large and weighty as well. What's up, Alan? Did yours take a month to arrive, DJ? Yeah, DJ, this took about a month to arrive. I ordered this um, early in June. So, okay, so I'm just going to take these off real quick, zip ties, and put them back in the box. All right, now let's go ahead and close this up, put this back in so we can move on with the unboxing. Okay. Looking, looking good. I still can't believe how tiny it's like. It reminds me a lot of like uh, unboxing a MacBook Pro because they make the box just super tiny. Like we've got this big external box that goes down to this little tiny thing. All right. This is a pretty sleek, pretty sleek little box considering 17 inch gaming laptops in here. 330 watt is what you're given when you get the RTX 3080. Yeah, yeah, it needs the uh, needs the extra wattage. It makes sense, especially if we're going to be pushing um, high TDP in the CPU at the same time as the GPU. You know, you really need that 330 watt. Okay, so removing the plastic wrap. Complete. Okay. All right. Now we're down to the box itself. Let's see here. Does it go like this? I think it goes like this. So we've got this pretty cool pattern on the actual box itself. It looks very pretty. Like you're you're paying a decent chunk of money. You're paying a decent chunk of money for this box design. <laughs> like this. There's no way this box design costs less than. 15, 20 bucks. This, oh, it's a really cool box, though. Like, we're getting, that's so cool. Like, we're getting all these designs over here on the left and on the right. It says X17 right over here. You can see that now in the light. Um, <laughs> you're, just, you're, paying, you're paying a good chunk of money for the box. <laughs> Is the ROG Strix G17 the best RTX 3070 Ryzen 9 laptop? Uh, I don't know if it's the best, but it's it's one of the best, without a doubt. Okay, so we've got the laptop here. Let's quickly check out what's in this little uh, box right here. Probably just our warranty card. Ooh, we got some Alienware stickers. Slap one of these on my camera or something. Um, warranty, safety, and regulatory information. Little Alienware card. In 1996, we set out to build the most innovative and high-performance computers for ourselves and our fellow gamers. Since then, Alienware products have won hundreds of awards around the world and are regarded as the absolute best personal computers ever made. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> don't know about that, but they are they are one of the they are one of the better ones for sure. I don't know about the best personal computers ever made. Okay, let's just leave it alone. Our team has spent countless hours talking to customers, technology partners, and game developers, design engineer, reliably manufacture the amazing piece of technology you're about to welcome into your life. Anyway, cool. So um, here's a little intro card. It's not really seeing anything here that's of any use. I guess it breaks down the ports for you. And uh, yeah, so let's we'll go ahead and put these back inside the box. I gotta say, um, the stickers are the only thing that's kind of unique. You don't normally get stickers. You know, like I said, it's kind of like a MacBook Pro to me. You, you could put it on your backpack or something. I don't know. <laughs> what do you? Do you guys like stickers? Do you use the stickers? If a, if a company like Alienware gives you stickers, do you put them on stuff? Like, I don't know the last time I did that. I usually just take stickers off. Like, that's my, that's my life experience with stickers. I just remove them. I don't put them on stuff. <laughs> because I put, I put them on something once, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, crap. I need to sell this, or uh, the sticker no longer looks good. And then you end up just, like, needing to remove it. And then, yeah, and then you're just like, oh, crap, now I've got goo on my thing that I didn't want. You know, you end up with goo from the sticker. Okay, so uh, we got to remove this plastic now. I don't like how they, um, the direction you remove the plastic doesn't make sense. Like, it was fighting itself there as I was taking it off. Okay, so there's that plastic cover removed. Ah, a 17-inch gaming laptop. I'm looking forward to using a 17-inch again. You guys are getting leg. Oh, no. Mm. Troubleshooting the leg. Yeah, my scar fifteen for some reason is uh is struggling. Testing, 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 testing. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with my uh, scar fifteen right now. Probably needs a reboot. Troubleshooting here, everyone. I can check. I, I'm looking at the Windows Task Manager, and I, something from Windows is taking up a large chunk of the resources, and I don't know why. Now it seems to be less. Oh, it's spiking again. Okay, is it smoother now? Is it is it is it smooth again yet? It is still lagging everyone. I might have to do a, a system restart to smooth out the lag. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for a restart. Okay, restarting and then resuming. Laptop. 